today I'm going to be starting a 100, 100 challenge, 100 push-ups and 100 pull-ups every single day for one month. I've taken the measurements of myself and recorded them and I'll put them up here. This is what I will be starting at. For the 100 pull-ups, I will be doing four variations of hand grips. So I'm just gonna go underhand, a wide overhand, and then a switch grip. I'll be 20, doing 25 of those. And then for the push-ups, I will be doing five variations of just like a standard, a wide, an offset, where my hands are a little staggered, and then a, um, a diamond. I'll be doing 20 of those. And I just have a simple pull-up bar that you can kind of buy anywhere. It's pretty cheap. So I'm just going to get started on that. And let's knock them out. So I just finished those 100 pull-ups, my back, and shoulders, and lats are just blown right now. So I'm going to wait a couple hours and then attack those 100 push-ups later in the day. So I'll get you then. It is a couple hours later, but it is push-up time. Let's go. That's day one. My arms, I can't, I need to put this up. Everything is so tight. I feel like these first few days are gonna be the hardest. Just getting into this routine. I'm just gonna check in with you tomorrow and see how sore I am. Hey guys, so it is day two. I'm actually not as sore as I thought I would be. Obviously, I do have tightness in my chest and everything, but I do think that spacing it out really helped prevent that. But let's do day two. 60 push-ups in. I can definitely feel it now. Day two push-ups are complete. It is day three. I can now feel all my soreness with every single rep that I do. But I'm probably gonna skip to day 15 and see how my progress is there. Maybe do some body measurements. All right, gotta get back to it. So today is day 15 of my challenge. Quick recap of the last two weeks. Push-ups and pull-ups are getting a lot easier and the recovery time after I'm done with them is like maybe 15, 20 minutes. I've definitely noticed changes in my body, but I'll sh save those results until uh, the final 30 days. I think now I'm going to time myself so that way I can kind of have more of a quantifiable means of checking my progress so for the 100 push-ups i'm going to see how fast that i can do 100 and then for the pull-ups i will time how fast that i can do those as well and it's kind of just building on this challenge because i feel like once you hit a milestone you have to keep pushing yourself and you can plateau so easily so i'm going to get those times for you and then i will probably meet you on day 30 and we will check out my body measurements and the improvement in my time. All right, so today marks the end of my challenge. It has been 30 long days of grinding it out. In these last 15 days, I know that I would review those times with you. And here are my times. 
looking at it with you guys, um, push-ups really didn't change that much. Uh, kind of fluctuated in a 20 second time range. My push-ups really did improve in their form as time went on. The major thing for me, just looking at time, um, has been the pull-ups. I was able to drop almost a minute and a half off my initial time. Um, and this is crazy to think about, dropping a minute and a half off, but also I'm really excited to see how that translates to what those muscle groups like my back and shoulders really look like from day one to day 30, knowing that most of my progress has gone towards my pull-ups rather than my push-ups. So I'm really excited about that. So right off the bat, you notice that <clears throat> my chest is a little bigger. There's more definition in it. Maybe a little bit broader shoulders. Okay, from that side angle now, you can definitely see there's definition in my shoulders. And it seems that my pecs have grown, so maybe my chest is gonna be a bit bigger. Um, ho. That's crazy. I was not expecting this much of a change from my back. You took something from that was kind of flat and had little definition to a back that seems a lot more broad and has that like triangle shape in it. I'm gonna look forward to see what those measurements are. It kind of seems that like my posture kind of got fixed in a way where now I'm kind of pulling back my arms instead of internally like rotated and in. So after seeing my progress through this challenge, I definitely want to see more and see what like doing ab workouts each day or running each day and how that can affect me. So if you guys have any suggestions out there, please put them in the comments. And I really hope to do more of these. I think that it was a way to really push myself without having a goal set in mind. Like I wasn't trying to beat this certain time or hit this amount of push-ups like in one go. It was just progress in general, knowing that what I did that day would benefit me tomorrow. And I think it's hard for a lot of people to see that sometimes, how, how the little things that we do today really do impact what happens tomorrow, how well you feel health-wise, how your mind is kind of cleared up. And when we don't see immediate satisfaction or benefits, like we don't see progress, we don't see all of that, it's, it's hard to continue. And that like applies to so much more than just health. So take up a challenge, keep yourself accountable for something and I hope that you see the same progress that I did and feel the same ways about uh, yourself that I do now. So good luck and go get after them. Peace.